Hello YouTube, I'm Gradamo and welcome back to Undertale! Alright, so, um, last time we made friends with Papyrus. And I really liked that, because Papyrus is actually a pretty lame-ass guy, but you know what? Whatever. Alright, so, um... This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Okay. Got it. Use the box? Yes. Okay, that's my box. Alright, so I'm guessing if I want to get over there, I gotta try to avoid those. Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay. Let's see what's down here first. Oh. There's paths down here. Okay. Oh, there's a flower. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Alright, do I listen to the flower or do I not listen to the flower? That is the real question. Because weren't we warned something about flowers? Ah! Ah! Hey! What's this? There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Take it. You got the old tutu. <laughs> okay, let's let's see what what does the two two do? Use you equip the old two two. Okay, I am wearing a two two. Am I a boy or girl? Um. Okay, this doesn't. Uh... Oh God, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Ah, uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I, did, did, did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I, I, I fought them valiantly. What? Did, did I capture them? W well, no. I tried very hard and died, but in the end, I failed. W what? Y you're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't ha have to destroy them, you see, y you see... What's gonna happen? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Aw, poor Papyrus is conflicted. Oh, no! Um... Okay. So that guy is obviously very scary. And I, I, I hope I don't have to fight him later. Oh my god, what is that? Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? Huh? -huh? Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh, ho ho. Oh, that, that, that was adorable. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Okay. Determination unbroken. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Bridge seeds. Eh. Eh, 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 eh. So I guess I just need to, like, move these down here and make a bridge. Oh, very nice. And it mitnya, and they've sprouted, and I can now walk across. It fills me with determination. What's this? Oh, there's, a, there's nothing significant about that crack. Oh fuck! Every time, Aaron flexes in. Um, Aaron flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Oh fuck! Fuck! Ah! Okay, overly manly man. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Okay, flex again. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nice. I won't lose though. Are you sure? Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. What is that? Sweat droplets? Ah! Aaron is ready for your next flex. Flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won! You earn 0 XP and 30 gold. 
I'm happy because that dude looked like he was gonna like fuck me up. What's that sign say? I wanna know what that sign says! Maybe, perhaps maybe I can use one of these. Two of these to get over and fuck my life. Perhaps maybe I can use three of these to get over and 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 see what that sign says. I swear to God, though, I hope the fuck that that sign isn't like just some stupid fucking like. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Ah. Alright, fine then. What's this say? If an error is made, the Bell Blossom can call bridge seeds back to where they started. Ooh. Bell Blossom. Bell Blossom. Okay. Can I put that there? And then put that there. And then put that there. Hmm. Maybe not. I remember. What did that sign say? I am conflicted. I don't remember what that sign said. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Oh, when four bridge seeds align in the water. So they have to like perfectly align? One. Oh, oh damn mushrooms getting in the way. Three. Four. Yay. Congratulations. You failed the puzzle. What? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, okay, at least I know that the game wants you to waste time. Alright, so, um, hmm. One. Let's see if they need to perfectly align. Two. Three. Four. Yeah, they need to perfectly align. They need to make a line. They can't just be for touching. Got it. All right, that's fine. I think I got this figured out then. Okay. Yes, yes, I figured it out just now with my big brain. My big, big brain. See, technically, even though they're on an angle, they're still technically making a line. Fuck off. All right, well then. I am bad at puzzles. Okay. What happens if I do this? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It ain't gonna make a bridge, but it'll fucking work. It'll make them all blossom, cause they're in a line. Yay! Can I jump? That's, that's too bad. I can't jump. Alright. Uh, now how the fuck do you actually do this? Jesus. Okay, um, what if I went like that, and then like that, and then like... That? Oh, yeah! For a sec, I thought it was too far over. Alright, and then... Hey, that'll work. Hooray! My big brain strikes again. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. Yeah. <laughs> this guy kind of reminds me of like overly attached girlfriend. So, what are you wearing? I'm I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What will you say? Um, yes, I'm wearing a dusty tutu, because why the fuck not? My life decisions should not affect me socially. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Click. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Okay. 
A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Okay. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Oh. Woshu shuffles up. Oh, look at you! Woshu. Um... Joke. You tell a joke about a kid who slept in the soil. Woshu's power is neutralized. No! That joke's too dirty! Ah! Okay. Got it. He le doesn't like dirty jokes. Okay. Woshu is friends with a little bird. Okay. Um, clean. You ask Woshu to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Ah! Oh, green, green, no, green! Fuck, Woshu wonders if tears are sanitary. Woshu, clean. You ask Woshu to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Ah! 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 Woshu is friends with a little bird. Woshu, oh yeah, nice. I can now spare him. Mercy, spare. You won! You earned 0 XP and 25 gold. I'm glad I'm making gold though. Come on, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Aww. Look through the telescope? Yes. Look at those beautiful pixels. Those. What the fuck? Check wall. Ah, uh, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Check wall. Check wall. Check wall. Check wall. Hmm. Okay. That wall? You know, I probably would have figured that out. Okay, what's this? Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul? A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Could it possibly- Oh, fuck! Oh, okay, so I guess I, I'm on a raft. Cool, it just ferried me across. Okay, so the last time we, found, we were in a place like this- That- uh, Okay, this guy appeared. Ah! Ready, we! Ah! Run! Run, little human! Run! Oh, fuck my life! Fuck my life! Oh no! He! He see me! Ah! Fuck you, Undyne! Fuck you! Fuck you and your ungloriousness! Ah! Fuck! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! He's going to steal my soul because I cannot run fast enough! Ah! Oh, fuck me, fuck me. Ah! I don't know where I am. I can't see me. Oh, God. Can he see me? Does he know where I am? Oh. Hi. Oh. What an asshole! Wow, I did not like that at all. Oh, he's alive! He's okay! Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me! I'm never washing my face ever again! Man, are you unlucky! If you were standing just a little bit to the left... Yo, don't worry, I'm sure we'll see her again. Oh, okay. 
So that guy loves Undyne. I don't love Undyne. Ooh. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Yeah. Squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Wow. All right. Fantastic. Hey, it's Sands. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Yeah, the last time. Um. Okay. That's, uh, okay. Use the box? Uh, no. Alright, so, what's down here? I have a black eye. Okay, maybe I want to go back up here. Man, this place is beautiful. This is like crystal place. Oh, it's a little ducky. Hiya, little ducky. I guess we need to go see that little ducky. Alright, what do you got to say? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Well, no. Okay, what's up here? Oh, it's that dude again. And another box. It's restoring punch cards. It's empty right now. Fucking punch cards. Uh, I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Okay. Then you know what? I should buy a ice cream. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. You got the ice cream. I should always buy ice cream. Okay. Yes, I would like to take the card. Okay, perfect. Uh, the ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Wow, way to deface history there, bub. Alrighty. Okay, there's another one of them fancy flowers. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but... It's kind of stupid. Okay. What's the wish? Oh, fuck. Every time. You walk into Mold Small. Ah, uh, mercy. Spare. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Got it. I can't go up there. Fine. Well, that was kind of a waste of time. Okay, I want to go down. Ring! Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. So I guess that's a sign that I'm supposed to take that dusty tutu off. How? How do I take off the tutu? Um... Oh, okay. There we go. I put the manly bandana on and took the tutu off. Which I don't know why I can't wear both. Aaron flexes in. Alright, Mr. Aaron. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to fight you! I'm sorry! I'm anti-genocide! Aaron is admiring his own muscles. Aaron, flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Eee. Is that sweat or teardrops? Okay, he's ready for my next flex. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you too. 
Alright. Flexy, flex, flex, flex. Ah! Fuck me. Okay. Aaron flexes very hard. Aaron flexes himself out of the room. Okay. So, technically, I won the flexing contest. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. I promise I won't laugh, too. I lie. Because I'm a liar. I laugh at everything. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's following me! Why is it following me? Oh god, no! It's in love! Hey there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you hear? Ah, uh, you're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. Okay? And the aquarium's full uh, anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Okay. Hey, there. That's that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In the waterfall. Okay. That was, uh... That, that was weird. It was really weird. Oh, fuck. Shiren hides in the corner and somehow encounters you anyway. Okay. Um... Smile. You smile. You ask to see Shiren smile too. Shiren gets quieter. In the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. Uh, toot! Wait, Aaron? You mean Aaron the flexy dude? Shiren pretends to be a pop idol. Okay. Um, conduct. You ha wave your arms wildly. You are now vul vulnerable to electric attacks. Hum, hum. Shiren taps a little beat with her fins. Okay. Hum. You hum a funky tune. Shiren follows your melody. Sire, sire, simmy, simmy. Oh, shit! Fuck me! Ah! That wasn't supposed to happen. Shiren seems much much more comfortable singing along. Alright, and now is the time. Mercy. You won. You were in 0 XP and 30 gold. I'm happy I can show mercy. The northern room hides a great treasure. Okay, let's go north. I like treasure. There's a piano here. Play it. Yes. Left, down, right, up. Left, down, right, up. What? Okay. Are there controls? A hunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. And and I don't hear a tune that echoes down a corridor. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Oh. It's a statue. The structure of its feet seem dry. Okay. Please take one. Oh. Take an umbrella? Take one. You took an umbrella. Okay. Let's see what happens if I do this. Because that guy looks like he's getting a little wet. Put the umbrella on the statue? Yes. Put the umbrella on top of the statue. Inside the statue, the music box begin to play. Could that be the music? Okay, 
circle up right circle down down right circle, circle up right circle down down right hey i did it i done it i gone and done it my big brain gone and done it okay let's see oh my god it's a dragon ball it's a legendary artifact will you take it yes i will take it you're carrying too many what Take it. You're carrying too many dogs. What? Carrying too many dogs? What the fuck does that mean? Annoying dog. You deployed the dog. The dog absorbs the artifact. Come back here, you little shit! The artifact is gone. Well, thank you, Sherlock. Fuck! What an asshole! I wanted that Dragon Ball! That dog done took my Dragon Ball! Alright. Please take one. Well, what if I take another one? Take an umbrella? You took an umbrella. Well, ha uh, ha! Now I've taken two! Oh, I see. Now I need the umbrella. Hey! There is reflection! Yo! You got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! Okay, it looks like I have a traveling companion that isn't really under my umbrella. Wow, so I'm walking underneath a waterfall. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. Haha. <laughs> so obviously Buddy doesn't know I'm a human. That asshole dog took my Dragon Ball. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. This kid has, like, a serious, god-awful Undyne... Um, obsession. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure she tried to kill me. What the fuck? Oh, there we are. So, that must be the capital. No, don't leave me. Okay. He's just gonna... Okay. Got it. Okay. And back into the rocks. Still got my umbrella. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Okay. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on the shoulders. Return the umbrella, put back. You return the umbrella. Well, I guess now I'm going to get wet. Oh. Yo! You go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Oh, every time he runs away, he's got to do a big old face plant. Wow. Okay, what's this say? The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attack suddenly and without mercy. All right. The scene, so the serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. All right. So I'm going to leave it right there. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, don't forget to hit that little bell thingy and then you can get notifications twice a day when I upload new videos. So thank you all again for watching and I will see you next time. Really? Well then, that, that, just, that just seems kind of pointless. Like... Okay.